our project is based off hang gliding. And you may be wondering, well, out of every sport that you could have chosen, why did you choose hang gliding? The reason we chose hang gliding is because it seemed unique and we didn't think anybody else would do it. But even though nobody would do it, we still think that it's really interesting to learn about and we wanted to include it. Hang gliders are launched from hills, mountains, and basically any high place. Gravity is also the main force on the hang glider. And two examples of gravity on a hang glider is the weight of the glider itself and the weight of the pilot. And that weight causes something called thrust, which keeps it moving forward. Another thing helping the hang glider stay in motion is the shape of the wing, which is called airfoil. And an airfoil shape is basically a horizontal teardrop with the biggest part of the teardrop facing forward. And when the glider is in flight, the air going towards you only has two options, to go over the top of the airfoil or over the bottom of the airfoil. And that causes low pressure on the top of the airfoil. And because of the difference in pressure, it causes lift, which helps it fly. And the lift opposes the total weight of the hang glider. And if the angle between the cord line and the airfoil, which is basically, the cord line is basically just a straight line going through the whole wing and a cuts into the, that cuts it into the upper and lower surfaces and the airflow escalates, it causes even more lift, basically just making it go higher. And that is why if you're hang gliding and the air is still, you will just slowly descend. And if the pilot or glider of the glider doesn't want to descend, then they have to find somewhere where there's air going towards them and not still. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna mark a spot on the ground. I'm using tape, but you can use anything you find around the house. You're gonna then stand on that spot. You're gonna take the bottom of the paper airplane in your hands and hold it at shoulder length. You're then gonna throw the airplane at medium force. You're going to do the exact same thing with your next airplane and try to throw it at the same amount of force. Once it hits the ground, you're going to measure in inches how far it went from the spot you were standing to the spot where it landed. My first one, which was the firm wing, went 52 inches. My second one, which was the flex wing, went 64 inches. You're then going to write down how far it went on our leaderboard.